Hello YouTube and welcome to the next Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial in my series of tutorial and I believe this is number nine and in this tutorial I will be teaching you about loops so um, in this tutorial I'm going to be doing the for loop and this is the second time I've tried recording this I completely messed up the first time um, so just ignore everything on the screen right now and I'm going to start over now as you can see uh, everything's a bit bigger now it's because I was having a problem with cam studio it was just being a little a little annoying and it kept crashing so I switched over to fraps and I'm also having problems with my microphone I have to keep checking to make sure that it stays in because sometimes windows won't even recognize it and it'll it'll seem like it's unplugged and it'll stop working so that's another problem uh... hopefully i can get through this tutorial without any problems uh... so go let's go ahead and get started so open up visual basic go to file new project that message won't pop up and then come down and we'll just name this one for loop okay so now we have our project loaded up go ahead and make the window a little bit bigger come over to your toolbox add a list box and a button so we can just go ahead and make it look a little bit nicer here that's one thing that you really have to do when you're making programs if you're going to distribute it you gotta make it look really nice this is just for tutorial purposes so it doesn't really matter how you make yours look but oh well come over select your list box and I don't like the name list box one so I'm gonna go ahead and name it list data and then for the button we're gonna name it button for loop so hopefully you can see that uh, you guys might have to go into full screen on YouTube because the text is so small but this will be um, HD so no worries with that so button for loop is the name and we'll come down here change the text not tang change the text to for loop okay now let's start making the code double click on for loop and we're gonna do something you should be very familiar with by now we're gonna declare int count as integer so that's just declaring the variable easy stuff and then we're going to type clear list with some empty parentheses. Now this is a method that we're calling on. I haven't written the method yet, but we will do that uh, after I do the rest of this code. All you need to know for now is that it clears the list, and the list is basically everything inside of this box. And uh, that's going to be helpful because for the other loops that I'm going to be doing in the tutorials, we're going to be using the same box and the same project here. So that's always helpful to clear the list before you move on to the next loop so we went ahead and cleared the list we'll come down under that and we'll start our for loop so it starts off with four and then we'll do int count equals one to eight and uh, you can see it automatically added the next for me right down in here that just tells the um, the loop once it goes through the code that's inside of this it sees the next and goes back up to the top of the four and runs it again that's why it's called a loop because it just keeps going and going until um, a certain value is met or it is not equal to something uh, it, it varies for each loop for a for loop it is basically if it is inside a certain region that you have set it will do it and then once it is false and it is not inside that region then it will stop the loop. So basically, we do for int count equals one to eight, and then we'll do list data dot items dot add, and we'll do int count dot to string. So basically, that just adds the uh, variable int count to our box right here, and. Um, that's it for inside of this uh, sub method in here the button for loop the that handles the click of this button so now outside of this we're gonna go let's go down here we're gonna make our method 
clear list, which obviously clears the list. You can see when you hit enter, it automatically adds the separator and end sub. So what we want to do is clear this list before we move on to the loop. So we'll go to we'll just type list data dot items dot clear. Very simple, um, easy to do. That's why I love Visual Basic because it's so close to English and um, it's just insanely easy. Uh, oh, and I forgot add two empty parentheses right there. So we'll go ahead and run this and then I'll explain the code one more time. So we'll run it and it opened up perfectly. And when we click for loop, you can see that it counts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when we do it again, it looks like nothing's happening, but it's actually clearing this box and running it over and over again. Okay, so now I'll explain the code and then we'll be done for this tutorial. So I'll start off down here. First we declared int count as an integer. Then we cleared the list. So so far we have an integer that has no value set to it yet. And then we cleared this list right here. So there's nothing inside of this box. And then we started our for loop. So for int count equals one to eight. So this basically sets int count equal to one and then uh, two means keep doing it until it gets to eight. And in for loops, whenever you're whenever you're doing a for loop, for each time it cycles through the loop, it'll add one to your integer. It just automatically does that. It, it goes up one each time. It increments it. So for int count one to eight, list data dot items dot add. So basically we're adding an item to list data and that item is the variable int count which has a value between 1 and 8 well between 1 and 8 and it can be 1 or 8 so it's int count and we just went ahead and converted it to a string just to be safe because it's always good to convert any number or any data type that's not a string to a string before you display it on the screen so we added the int count to the box simple enough and then it says next which just says okay we've gone through the loop now let's go back up to the top of the loop and start over again and just keep going through and going through um, which is what makes the loop so now back up to the top clear list the method that we call down here we made a method that's private sub you don't really have to know what that means yet uh, we call it clear list and then list data dot items dot clear so it just clears all the items out of this box right here and then we end the sub so you go ahead look over this code practice it yourself make a couple of programs yourself get familiar with it and then go on to the next tutorial and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe that's it thanks for watching